Today I'm using Amazing Clear Cast. It comes in a part A and part B. I need to combine two equal parts, mix them together with a popsicle stick. Once I'm done mixing it thoroughly, I let it sit for an additional two minutes. Now for this project, I'm using wood butterfly cutouts. Um, I purchased them on Etsy and they already come with the images on top. I'm just adding a layer of Mod Podge to seal and protect the image before I add the resin. Once the Mod Podge is dry, I take a disposable brush and brush on some resin to the top of the butterfly. I like using a brush, it just gives me a little bit more control when I'm applying the resin. Once that first layer of resin has cured, I go ahead, mix up a second batch, and add an additional layer of resin. This time I'm using a popsicle stick because I'm going to add a little bit more resin in order to give the butterfly more of a domed look. Next I took a paper mache box, added some paint, and distressed it, and then I glued the butterfly to the top of the box. Um, I want to give this as a gift, so I also made a necklace out of another butterfly. I drilled two holes, added some chain, and now it's ready for me to give away. I love using natural elements in my work. Um, they add a really nice amount of texture, um, but unfortunately, a lot of the times they're too brittle for me to use. Um, today I picked up a piece of bark from the yard and I'm going to cover it in a layer of Amazing Clear Cast. This is going to give it a nice rich color and it's also going to make the bark nice and sturdy and able for me to use it. Um, I'm going to also um, embed um, some nails and a compass onto the bark and it will all cure together. Once the bark cured, I added additional elements to the front of the piece. I finished it off by hot gluing the bark into the shadow box. The bark really gives this piece a wonderful amount of texture and richness. Now I'm using a snowflake wood cutout. These come plain, so you can actually paint them before you add the resin, and that'll give it a little bit of color. I decided not to add uh, paint to mine because I'm gonna be making a vintage style ornament, and I wanted it to stay this neutral color. 
I mixed up a batch of clear cast resin and then I added glitter and mixed it thoroughly. Now I'm going to apply some of that glitter resin using a disposable brush to the top of the ornament. After about an hour, I mixed up a second batch of glitter resin and added some more to the top of the snowflake. Next I added vintage papers to a paper mache star. I glued on the snowflake ornament, added a crystal and ribbon, and this ornament is ready for the holidays. For more tutorials using Amazing ClearCast, visit www.moldputty.com.